Hello everybody and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. In the last episode, I believe it was, there's been a break in between recordings here so I might be a little fuzzy on the details, but I think we uh, fought off the uh, the Cylons around Pycon, a uh, particularly large fleet jumped there. Uh, we did lose the Cataphract, which was uh, our second Battlestar in Fleet Group Daedalus, though the Ascension still lives, which I think is, I think, I think the Ascension is now the longest serving Battlestar. Yeah, I think the Ascension is the longest serving Battlestar in the fleet right now of the three we have. Uh, as, as well as the battle that happened last episode, we also now have a second Battlestar group at, uh, uh, at uh, 4,700 points uh, fleet power. So yeah, we've, we've got that. Um, actually, just double checking. Second Battlestar group. Uh, you can't be promoted yet, but uh, you can be soon. But uh, they're large enough that they're actually a pretty big threat to Cylons. Uh, and so far, Cylon fleets, there are only three we have readings on, all of them under 4,000 points, which actually makes this a bit easier. Uh, Fleet Group Daedalus is, I think, now going to start uh, as they're rebuilding their last battle star, which will take four turns. I think it's now time for them to start jumping out of the system. Uh, so they're going to start jumping towards the mission. And while we have that going, uh, we are going to... Mm, what are we going to do? Well, that's 500 more. We could get another... You know, we could start jumping first Battlestar group and get uh, the Huxa into first Battlestar group. It's 500 points, not that much, but, uh, you know, every little bit helps. Or we could send them here so they have 4,000 points, which would make them a little bit better, uh, and that would give them their second Corvette, which I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to jump the Huxa to... Uh, to the intermediary jump, then jump them to, uh, I think this is Scorpia. So that'll work out. Uh, Caprica is still being defended by 3rd Patrol Fleet, which I don't think, yeah, they, or wait, no, they can actually take another. So that would be 4 and th 3, you know, that'd be, yeah, that'd be 4 and 3, that would work. You know what, we're going to do that. We're going to cancel that jump, jump them to Caprica. So the Huxa will join 3rd Patrol Fleet, First Battlestar group, I think they're at 30 Tilium usage right now. Uh, you know what we're going to do? I think we are going to jump... What is this? This is, a, this is 150. Silent group 150, 3900 against 4700. Or right, we could clear Geminon. That's what we're going to do. We're going to try and clear Geminon. So we're going to jump to Geminon there. Confirm that. So that'll be 30 Tillium off of the, the end total, but uh, we're making about um, 216 per turn, so that's a pretty good clip right there. Uh, and speaking of which, what can we build with that? Could build a couple Adamants. Could build another Ranger. And that could start filling out some of our fleet. I think we're going to save up a turn or two, but uh, I think a ranger would be good because they don't have a ranger. We could drop uh, one of the, uh, we could drop the frigate, and I think we'll have enough. Uh, or we could put a ranger in first Battlestar group because they currently only have frigates and corvettes and their Battlestar, so a, uh, a nice ranger might be good. And actually, speaking of that, let's do that. We're going to build a ranger. That'll be four turns away. So two ships being worked on. We'll put a Ranger here, and we'll put another Battlestar in Fleet Group Daedalus. So, that looks good. Let's end turn. Cylon Strike Group has been detected. Okay. Zero percent chance of uh, any... Um, of uh, any casualties, so we're just going to auto-resolve that. We have numbered them by a lot. Colonial Victory. There we go. And speaking of which, if we go to the officer, did that give you... You're almost, almost enough to be r ranked up. Which is actually good, because looking at... Let's see here. All of them at 3,900. This is Cylon Fleet 153, so 3,900. You'll be able to beat that. 
and let's transfer you to third patrol fleet so third patrol fleet is now at 4250 that's pretty good all right that's looking good how's the economy doing yeah it's lower because we're not uh, we're not fortifying PyCon anymore but we're still doing all right we're still doing okay uh, we got a couple of turns before we can jump the Daedalus again. Uh, we'll do another fight in orbit around Geminon, clear that out. Third patrol fleet could jump, and does outnumber the Cylon fleets in the area. But I kind of want to... is Caprica... Caprica is fortified. I don't think you're, you're unfortified, so you're only up plus nine. Might do after we clear Geminon. We'll see how much we're making, but maybe jumping second Battlestar Group to PyCon might help out a bit. And yeah, that looks good. So, how much are we? Yeah, we're making 190, so yeah, uh, that's good. Three more turns here. So, what are we building? We're building the Falcon and the Avenger. Uh, whether or not they'll actually have those names, we'll see, because I, I think this was in, in when it was being worked on, it was the Pyrenees, but then it's the Hussar, so I have no idea. Uh, so let's enter and see what the Cylons do. Been detected. Okay, 1,800 points. They just keep jumping things into Geminon here. Let's just auto-resolve. Yep, colonial victory. Group is ready to Cleared jump. another fleet. Uh, second Battlestar group. Uh, I think your officer is ready to be, yes, is now ready to be promoted. So promote you. Ooh. Plus 50 tillion from fortified colonies. You know what? That'll be the next thing we do. But we're going to go for fleet points right now. Or wait. Uh, yeah, fleet points. We'll do that. So we got uh, rank 6. I think that's our second rank 6. Yeah, because first Battlestar group's rank 6 already. So now they can have 6,500 points. What is this? Still 53, so still under. Cylon Fleet 107 is uh, is a big fleet. So let's hope they don't uh, attack 2nd Patrol Fleet, because they are not outfitted for that kind of action. How's the economy doing? Not the best, but that's because uh, Sagittarion is, is uh, being threatened. But then again, Sagittarion is uh, not a very rich colony. One more turn for that. Got Tentillium there. You're going down on that. You're ready to jump. So are you. So first Battlestar group could jump in. Help start clearing out some of these uh, some of these ships. How much are you providing? 32 when you're fortified? Eh, that would be a blow to our you know what? We're going to do that. First Battlestar Group's going to jump in, or try to, going towards Helios Alpha. And I think uh, by the time Daedalus leaves, it'll have dropped off the Avenger, or it'll, it'll have dropped off the Falcon for First Battlestar Group, and the Avenger will have joined it. Then we'll go on to the mission. That looks good. This should be the next fight, because we're at 153, is still, yeah, 3,900. First Battlestar Group is at 4,700, so... Let's go and turn. Okay, we have 18% casualties, so we will now proceed and fight this one. I love the fact that they added in a casualty chance as well. That's That was great, because I remember in the first couple of battles I fought in this game, or first couple of uh, hours I fought in this game, there was none of that, and it was... Uh, you could have a 100% chance to win, but uh, you'd always lose, like, your ship or something. You always lose, like, an officer. You know what we're going to do? Oh, what do we want to do here? You know what? I'm going to try something. I heard somebody mention. We are going to have... the uh, Minotaur deploy above the Battlestar, and we're going to have them work as a cohesive unit. And we're going to see how that works. Because I think... I don't know what ship our commander is on, but I don't think it's the Minotaur. I think it's the Battlestar, but we're going to try and protect the upper armor of the Battlestar, and 
produce like a wall of fire. We're gonna, instead of spreading it out in a line, we're gonna try and go above. We're gonna see if that works. Uh, so let's just double check. Everybody got their deployment. The Hussar is a new battle star, so we're gonna deploy her with Vipers. Everyone else got Mark IIs, our Manticores. We've got some armor piercers with some torpedoes. You know what? I'm going to. I'm going to have the Adamant deploy with torpedoes. So we have two torpedoes, two armor piercers, and a uh, guided missile battery. I think that works. So let's go ahead and fight this battle. We've got to pay special mind to the altitudes of our two capital ships. And we got to make sure they don't hit each other. Nobody hits them. Okay, they're directly off of our starboard side. Our uh, forwards, you know, like towards our... Um, not directly starboard, but uh, close enough. Uh, what do we got? We have a f six... Six enemies. So we're going to begin deploying Vipers. We only have three squadron of, of Vipers in this one, so that is a problem. Uh, first things first, our, mm, they're that close. We'll have the uh, Minotaur and the Battlestar stay in their current position, but we will have the Manticores begin their movement towards yes, the man. enemy as a cohesive strike group. They are above, so that's good. And yes, sir. you are deploying. Yes, you are. Okay, you're going to go forward. We're going to have the Battlestar and the Minotaur match their movement, so they should stay in line, and we'll have the forward Manticore go on full defensive, and let's see what happens. Alright, we've got two enemy strike craft launches, so we should be able to double up on one of them and hit them hard. So let's do that. Select target, let's hit yes, you. Sir with two, and the last one from the Quinn will go towards the rear target. All right. So say Need we to all. raise up the Manticores. They should be coming directly on them. We basically crossed their T at this point. Understood. We'll have the Adamant do the same. Yeah, we should be good, so... And turn. Alright, we've got five. Revenant, Talon. Talon, I'm assuming. Revenant. What are these two? Are these going to be Nemesis, or are they going to be something else? Nemesis. What are you? What are you? Don't know. Okay. So what do we got for enemies? Rate of prototypes. Pretty standard stuff. Alright, Battlestar is going to fire guided missiles at the Nemesis. Understood. So those guided missiles are going out. Uh, can't do anything there, but we can fire armor piercers at the Revenant with our armor piercing manticores. They shouldn't hit each other. Alright, and they're going around. We're going to take defensive off of this ship and go forward. I think our center has torpedoes. They'll have to do a sweep in the next turn. The Adamant is going to start making a little bit of a turn, but uh, the Battlestar and the Minotaur are going to go on full offensive. Yeah, it looks like they're good. Yep. All right. And turn. Incoming torpedoes. Don't know who they're going to hit. Missiles incoming! Going for the Minotaur. Did not do much damage. We have two Nemesis. Two Nemesis. Alright, begin flak fire on your right side. Begin your flak fire, and I want you to start focus firing on that forward Revenant there. Same with you. Hit that forward Revenant. Okay, armor piercers are out. So say we all. We're gonna fire a torpedo barrage at that revenant. While 
you move yes, towards sir. the rear of the formation. You also are firing torpedoes, but we'll wait for you for a bit. Keep you going like that, and we're going to turn both of these slightly. Yeah, that should work. All right, and turn. Yep, Minotaur is not getting hit directly. Okay, good shots on the Revenant. How's the Minotaur doing? Minor hits, nothing big. Okay, and you're going to focus fire on that Talon. I want you... On it, Commander. ...to focus fire on the... I don't actually want you going into there right now. Well... You're going to raise up and go around. You are going to make your turn inward. Okay, that should work. We've already killed all of the enemy. Yep, looks like we killed all the enemy fighters, I think. No, one more. They're almost dead, so we should be good. Alright, and turn. Okay, good strikes on the Revenant. Good strikes on the Revenant. Revenant's Minotaur down. Thank you, Agathon. Okay, Minotaur has no right or rear anymore. So we're going to make sure your navigation's up. We're going to put you on full. You're hitting that one just fine. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Ooh, We're going to make you go around and down like that. Next turn. You should take some hits. That's gonna, that's inevitable. But the next time, we're going to have you loop around and start going this way. Start hitting those nemesis. And then I want you also to focus fire on that Talon. Same thing with the Battlestar. Okay, that should work. We have torpedoes, so put yes, a torpedo man. barrage directly into that Talon. Okay, looks like they are hacking us now. Understood. Okay. One more turn for these armor piercers to come back. But I want you to focus fire on this nemesis to give you guys a chance. Okay, nemesis there. You are going to go on defensive for right now. Because your next shot's going to be directly up the ass with torpedoes on that revenant. Okay, we're playing defensive here. Let's cross our fingers. Okay, good Minotaur shots on the Talon. Okay, Talon's taking a lot of bad hits. Talon's basically dead. Okay. Yes, Commander. Keep repairing that. Go on full defense. Okay, Battlestar's gonna yes, rise sir. up a little bit. That's a good hit there. Where are you targeting? Targeting the Talon. Good. Cancel that target. Target the other Talon. On it, Commander. We need to stay below the Talon because the Talon does not have it, underguns, so should be good here. All right. How are you doing? One more turn for those. Keep that fire control up. Same with you. But. Now that we have this up, we are going to fire some armor piercers at the Revenant. Alright, and then hopefully, what's left of that, we'll be able to fire on the uh, we'll be able to fire the torpedoes next round directly into the unarmored uh, side of the Revenant that we just open up here, hopefully. All right, cross our fingers for the Minotaur. Should be good. Minotaur is taking damage. Okay, Minotaur, or the Talon's down. Minotaur's turning. Okay, it's taking fire from the left now. That's good. Stop repairing that and put some rounds yes, into that Revenant. Okay, firewall's almost down here. 
Okay, navigation's still being worked on there. Focus fire on the... Not the Revenant. I want you to focus fire on that Nemesis. How are you doing? Your left and rear are gone. Good. So keep going down like that. Understood. Go to full attack, actually, just to give these guys something. I want you to go to normal for right now while you fire. Yeah, it should work. Okay, Adamant's back up. Or, I mean, Adamant's out of the fight for right now. What are we going to do here? Okay, we're going to cancel that target. I want you to retarget on the Revenant, because we're opening some armor on one of its sides. And you are still targeting the Talon, which is taking some good hits. So, next turn. Okay. A battle start. There, goes the, there goes the torpedoes. Okay, I want you to do that. Keep turning. Yeah, you're taking some damage, that's good. Yes, Commander. Go on full attack here. Okay, he's almost dead. Go back on full defense to give you a chance against these hacks. Don't go too far down. Uh, no, actually, keep targeting that nemesis. We're doing some good shots to him. Should be good, I think. Next turn. Yeah, Battlestar's not really that damaged. Minotaur's still got armor. Manticore okay, there goes a nemesis. Damage. Sir, we've got a new Dratus contest. No, no, no. Okay, so, uh, that's a problem. How are you doing? You are fucked on your left, you're fucked on your right. Okay, cancel that target, retarget on the Revenant. You need to turn, yes, raise sir. up, go on full defensive, get your fire control back up. You guys are going to turn and go to normal posture to give yourself a boost. Same thing with you, buddy. And start repairing your fire control. Okay. You've got your torpedoes back, and he has an open right, so you're going to put those torpedoes right into him. You are going to fire your... You're going to stop repairing your fire control, and you're going to fire those missiles off of your other side without the flak, directly on that talon. Okay, stay in the same position. And I want you, you're not getting hacked, so I want you to go to full attack mode. Start hitting that Revenant. Okay, next turn. Okay, we got another Revenant. Minotaur is taking damage. Yeah, they're putting shots in that Minotaur. Okay. Missiles are hitting that Talon. Okay, cancel flak. Focus fire on that. Damn it. Damn it. What do we got here? What do we got? Well, we still got front armor. Only like one shot's worth. And we only got top and bottom left. And navigation's so down. Are. So what are we going to do here? Rear's gone. One more turn for that. Uh, yeah, we're going to fire armor piercers there. And armor piercer. Well, yeah, you'll have to wait a turn. Okay. On turn it, like that and target the nemesis. We might lose the Minotaur here. She got caught out by herself. Subsystem repairs are complete. Minotaur is taking damage. Minotaur's down. Manticore is taking damage. Ooh. Falcon took some bad hits, but they lost another Revenant. Okay, Falcon. Begin turning and burning away. Okay, missiles are going in for that. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's focus fire on you. Let's get you out of there. 
Got another Nemesis. How's his Talon doing? Talon's getting hit pretty bad. Okay. What are you going to do? You have armor piercers, so why don't you put an armor piercer into this that revenant? We'll do that. Alright, next turn. Okay, Talon's taking some bad hits. Okay, what do you got? You're repairing that. Got some torpedoes, so why don't we stop repairing that? And I want you to put a torpedo rudge right into that nemesis. It might not do anything, yes, but it might have. it might help. You never know. Okay, wave off of there. One more turn left on that. You're taking some damage. Understood. You go over here. Okay, next turn. Okay, good hits. There goes a nemesis. There goes a Talon. Okay, all we got left On it, Commander. is the Revenant. Gonna fire missiles and torpedoes directly at him. And then we're also gonna focus fire with both of these guys. Yeah, should be good. Alright, you just run. You just run, get your fire control back up. You... On it, Commander. Again, focus fire on him. Should be good. Next turn. There goes the torpedoes and the missiles. Good hits on the front. Alright. Yeah, keep targeting there. You're taking some hits on the left, but you should still be good. You're still on full attack as well. You're repairing. Good, good, good. And fighters are taking care of this guy. I'm gonna so turn you are. out. Fire an armor piercer, not at him, but at him. Alright, next turn. It's just one shot. Looks like it's just one. Okay, Battlestar's doing work. You're still repairing. She could get a missile barrage out, so we'll try that. Yeah, he's damaged. You've got your armor piercers back, so why don't you put another round into that? Go full attack on this guy. Uh, and you yes, sir. just repair your fire control. Fighters will take care of the uh, nemesis. Okay, presenting a side. Adamant is taking damage. Well, we just uh, we got a torpedo barrage into the armored flank, so it's actually not that bad. Fire torpedo barrage on the nemesis. Should be good. It's on the open side, so yep, good hits, and dead. So, we lost a Minotaur. Uh, looks like Battlestar did the most damage. Minotaur did a decent amount of damage, but yeah, she took too many hits and just couldn't keep her up. So, uh, let's see here. Falcon took some bad damage as well, but everybody else seemed alright. So yeah, we're gonna need another Minotaur, or maybe we're gonna need to rethink it. Maybe just have the Battlestar be the main line with the Adamant, and then have a rear line of Rangers or something. Not sure. Okay, so... Yeah, second Battlestar group's now down to 6,800, which sucks. Uh, first Battlestar group is uh, jumped. What do the Cylons look like? We got uh, 3950 is uh, currently in orbit around Zeus, and we have 5450 in orbit around Sagittarion. How's the economy doing? Not that bad, since we got Geminon back up and running. Uh, let's see here. What is the build look like? One more turn for these ships to get off the line. And we're at 500 Tilium, so we are going to build another Minotaur. 
Okay, so looking at the time, we are out of it for this episode, so thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below, as well as uh, you know any com uh, any uh, criticisms. Uh, also, hit that like button if you uh, like the episode. Uh, take a look at my other videos on the channel. I have plenty of other series going on right now. Uh, as well as take a look in the description down below, where I have a link to my Discord page and my Patreon page. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!